Hello everyone and as you might have guessed today's video is all about how you can use Midjourney and we're gonna go dive deep into what Midjourney is and how you can use it. So basically this is an AI tool which is used to create stunning artworks as you can see some of the creations here from other people. The first thing you need to know before we even begin creating artwork is that Midjourney does not offer free trial or free version anymore. So if you write Midjourney subscription here you can find out the plans so you do need a paid and active subscription in order to create art using Midjourney. And we have a number of plans here for in total. I am using the basic plan for reference because I do not use Midjourney too much these days. I don't think you will ever need this one so you can either choose anything in between these three and you're good to go. You can read this article here for more information if you would like but let's get into our video. So here are some things which you can do to make your experience even better with Midjourney and the first thing is you can create your own server and invite Midjourney bot to your server. So how do we do that? Simply click on the add a server button and then click on create my own. Then you can select one of these options. I'm going to choose for me and my friends. Then you can give it any name you would like. Once you're done with those, simply click on the create button. And now that we have our server, we can simply invite the bot into our server by simply going back to Midjourney and where we see the bot, right click on that, click profile and add to server and then select your server which you have just created and click continue, then authorize. And once we have the bot into our server, we can start creating artwork right from here by pressing the slash keyword and then imagine and here we can tell the AI what we would like it to create for us. So why is this better than using AI in their own server? Well, first of all, you don't have to scroll through a lot of other people's artworks. So you can have your own chat history here and pretty organized stuff. So yeah, this is going to be helpful to you in a lot of cases. And now let's try generating some art. I'm going to write a simple prompt here. So I prompted it to generate an anime style samurai character with a deep red background and a sunset. I've also asked it to keep it ultra realistic and the AR3-2 keyword basically means I would like to keep the aspect ratio to be 3-2 and IW2 is not really useful here. It would be useful if you had a reference image and you would like to make it similar to the reference image and I will show you that in a second. But first, let's have a look at our art. And here we have our art generated by Midjourney. As you can see, these are really pretty looking images. The sun looks absolutely stunning. Actually, it looks more like a planet, but something fantastic, I would say. And here we have some tools. As you can see, it says U1, V1, so on and so forth. So what basically this means, the U here stands for upscaling the image and the V means variations. So for example, one of these four images we would like to upscale. We will select U3 for the third image, U4 for the fourth image. And if we would like more versions or variations of our image, we can simply select V1 or V2. Now this looks good and all. We can also upscale some of those images or have more variations. For example, I could upscale the second image. So all I had to do was tap on the U2 and we have upscaled version of that image. So another way to use this tool is if you have an image and you would like to create a different version of that or want something similar to that, you can also achieve that by simply uploading the image here in Discord chat. And then once you have the image, simply open that up, right click and tap on the copy link button. Then again, open the prompt. Now we have to paste the link of the image and with a comma we can add something like ultra realistic, anime style, Disney style and Pixar style. We could keep them singular if you wanted. Then we could define the aspect ratio and also in this case we would need the IW2 because we are making it based on a reference image. And as the AI generates your images, you can see how each image goes through the process from start to finish. Sometimes it might look creepy and not good, but once you have those results, you're gonna see how amazing the art looks. As you can clearly tell, they all look stunning. 
and you can do a lot of things you can upscale one of these images or if you like a particular style from one of these images you could make more variations from that so that was it for today's video i hope you found this video helpful you should definitely check out this video and if you took value let us know or leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching